David, we've received hundreds of email and Facebook messages from people who are frustrated. Jeannie told us, I have been trying since midnight to get an 89-year-old woman signed up for a vaccine time slot with no success. I cannot imagine how seniors are going to be able to do this themselves. And Liz wrote, I've had no luck obtaining an appointment for my mother, who will be 102 years old in April. I spent over an hour on this today and just tried again, no success. Another complication, you need to make these appointments online, which can be a problem for people who aren't used to the technology. Our coverage continues now with Mike LaCrosse, live in Worcester. Mike. Lisa, it has been a very long, stressful, and confusing day for many seniors who are not used to using computers or iPads to try and navigate the state's website. I got up early this morning, 5 o'clock, went on the iPad. And I thought, wow, this is great. I got an appointment. Margaret Berkowitz thought she lucked out by being able to book an appointment for a COVID-19 vaccine. Oh, here's the date. The problem was it was an error. The appointment she got was for this weekend before phase two even starts. Just a lot of confusion. So this local council on aging or senior center may be able to help us. Mary Ellen Racine and Jim McKernan are also anxious about trying to book an appointment. I'm just afraid that uh, I'll poke a wrong button. AARP of Massachusetts says it's getting tons of calls and emails from members who are having a hard time navigating the state's vaccination website to make an appointment. Oh, yes, the immediate thing is reach out to relatives or friends or someone trusted that can help you navigate if you're not comfortable doing it yourself. City of Worcester Medical Director Dr. Mike Hirsch says it's going to take time for everyone to get their appointment and vaccination. I think the two phone calls I would make first are the primary care physician's office and the pharmacies local to them. They'll have information that probably we don't even have yet. For seniors like Mary Ellen and Jim, the COVID-19 vaccine is their ticket back to a somewhat normal life. We were out of the house every day someplace, and now nothing. <laughs> AARP of Massachusetts says it's lobbying the state and the governor's office to have a hotline set up so seniors can call and talk to a live person to get some help on how to navigate the website. Reporting live from Worcester, Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News.